Good Thursday morning, top of the hour here on America Hill. And I'm Jim Shudo. Some major economic news this morning, and this just into CNN. A key measure shows inflation, inflation is continuing to cool. The Labor Department released new numbers minutes ago. They show inflation eased once again in December. You have both a monthly decline, but also a slowing at least of price growth on an annual basis. And it's the sixth straight month of slowing. CNN Chief Business Correspondent Chris, this feels like good news. Is that what the data is essentially saying? Unless you're buying eggs, this is good news. Let me show you the overall number. Point uh, interest rate hikes might be behind us. The Fed will continue to raise mm -hmm. interest rates to cool this inflation, but maybe not by such big moves. Maybe not as high. All right, yeah. well, we'll take it. I okay. will take all the good news, <laughs> and I love it when you bring yeah. it. Christine, thank you're you. Airlines working to get back on track this morning after an FAA system outage forced a nationwide ground stop yesterday, which ultimately delayed more than 10,000 flights. Another 1,300 were canceled. And now the FAA says all that chaos. This just into CNN, the White House releasing a statement on the classified documents found by President Biden's lawyers. I want to go straight to CNN White House course. Two very different questions. One about the First Lady's health after we had learned she had two cancerous, uh, potentially cancerous lesions removed. And another, uh, which many have, a question about these classified documents, additional documents which were found at the president's home in Delaware. Well, let's bring in CNN White House correspondent saying very clearly this is a break for consumers. It gets right. some breathing room, touting the decline in both inflation and gas gas prices, saying my economic plan is working. There are also Fed rate hikes right. that appear to be working. And they'll be coming to more Fed rate hikes in this economy for sure this year. But he's we'll wait and watch, right? Because the Fed, we have about 15 seconds left. Yeah. The Fed is meeting again next month. That's right. We could see another rate hike, but it's expected to be lower. It will likely be less aggressive Fed rate hikes, but a Fed's still trying to tackle inflation this year. Yes. All right. We'll watch and we'll continue uh, drilling down the numbers as always with you. Christine, Jeremy, appreciate it. Thank you both. Thanks to all of you for joining us today. I'm Erica Hill. Stay tuned at this hour with Kate Baldwin coming your way after a real quick break.